What you may notice in being a man who is interested in women and interested in having great relationships in his life with others as well, that expressing yourself in the way that you want to may be very difficult. It may seem like, wow, everybody's trying to make it seem like it's so easy, but why is it so hard for me? An expression in itself is just being able to truthfully be moment to moment, truthfully allow yourself to be whatever you want to be moment to moment. Express through yourself whatever wants to be expressed moment to moment. But why is this so hard though? Why do men find it so hard when they're in front of women to express themselves? Why do you find it so hard when you're in front of a woman to just express what it is that you want to express? And that's moment to moment. That's not, that's not just when you get to the bedroom, that's not just in the beginning, that's moment to moment difficulty. And this difficulty is there because of one particular thing. And I'll get to it later in this video, but I want to start off with a story of mine that takes you into expression and understanding it and just noticing why we find it so hard as men. Going through my life and expressing myself was a thing that I avoided always. I mean truthfully expressing myself. I always avoided it in my life. I always avoided situations where I have to truthfully express myself. Because it's very, very difficult. And I felt that, fuck, this is so hard. Why is it that I know what to say right now, but I just can't say it? Why is it that I want to go speak to this woman, but I just can't muster up the courage to go over there and say hello to her? Why can't I? Why can't I? Why can't I? This was so much my question. I hope you guys know that I wasn't always like this. I wasn't always a man who can express himself truthfully moment to moment. I wasn't always a man who can look a woman in the eyes and be unperturbed in the fact that he wants to get to know her. That he doesn't care that she thinks that he's like this. I wasn't always like that. I wasn't always a man who can smile and be really joyful from the inside. Really be able to express a childlikeness in myself. I wasn't always like that. No, I was not. I particularly remember times in my life where I was in tears because I couldn't express myself. I was in tears because I just wanted to just authentically live the way I wanted to live. Just live it out. Just totally disconnect from the part of myself that wants to evade, that wants to avoid being totally. And this is what you may notice in yourself. Just constantly wanting to avoid being totally who you are because of something. There's a block there. When you're around a woman and you want to say something to her, there is a block there. When you're around people and you want to just truthfully be, authentically be in this moment, there is a block that shows up. And that's for me, I started to dissect what that block was in me, and, I ho and hopefully you can be able to dissect what that is for you through my story. I started to dissect things. I started to go, okay, I can see that one of the things that I'm really avoiding and expressing myself is being seen as a bad person. And there's so many students that uh, we have on workshop that come and it's just like, They feel that they don't want to express themselves and then as I get down to it, I notice that it's because they want to always be seen as a good person. And guess who dealt with the same thing? I couldn't fully express myself authentically. I couldn't tell a woman that her legs were so sexy because they just look toned and look like she takes care of them. I couldn't say that to a woman. I couldn't look a woman in the eyes and really for real want to fuck her because guess what? I felt like that wasn't the right thing. I felt like that was something that was that was, that was particularly uh, wrong to do because I didn't want to be seen as the bad person. So you know what? I would rather just not do that and maybe say something that's a half of what I want to say. Maybe I would say, God, you're so beautiful. 
when in that moment I just wanted to hold intensity with her. In the moment, maybe I wanted to say something to someone like, can you please not talk to me like that? Or, excuse me, um, you're in my way. I would like to get around you. I, would, I wanted to do these things, but maybe I would say something like, hey man, hey, can I, uh, see, uh, can I just get around you? I, I know, I know, I know. And I will always do things to release myself out of that place of tension. I always did things to do that. Always. That was my life. My life was constantly avoiding expressing myself so I can be in the eyes of other people a good person. And being seen as a good person to me meant so much because guess what? The good opinions of others were right. The good, opinion, the good opinions of others meant something to me. And as the good opinion of others are well in place, now I can just relax, so to speak. I don't have to worry about me saying something to get rid of that label that I like so much. So many of you guys are probably attached to the label like I was of being a good person. You probably just not you probably just can't go up to a woman and say, "Excuse me, you look sexy." You probably can't do that because you're afraid of looking like a bad person. You're afraid of the woman looking at you as a creep, as a sleaze, as a man who is disrespectful, whatever it is. You are afraid of the woman looking at you as not the good person that you want her to see you as. I was so attached to everybody seeing me as a good person. So attached to it. To the point where I always did things to hear from people good affirmations, to hear good things from others, to make sure the woman said things like, you made my day. To make sure the woman said things to let me know that I wasn't doing something creepy. I always wanted to be in that light of, I am not creepy. I am a good person. She sees me as a good person. This person sees me as a good person. That feels good. And as I'm being seen as a good person, what does that do for me? That consistently allows me to play out the facade that I am a good person in every situation. I look at the girl sexually, and then she goes, why are you looking at me like that? Immediately I feel I don't want to be seen as the bad person, so I go, oh, I was just looking like that because I was just kidding. Just completely avoiding it. Because I was afraid of sitting in that place of tension. Just afraid of just totally being there. That's what I was avoiding. The woman seeing me as a bad man. Because I wanted every woman to see me as a good person. And you may do that too. As many of the guys who follow my channel, you may be somebody as well who can connect to the same phenomenon of just wanting to live, but at the same time being blocked by this thing of wanting to be a good person. And as you strive to be a good person always, you miss out on the other part of yourself. The other part of yourself that, that's very savage, that's very, very penetrative, that's very, very unmoving and powerful and strong. You miss out on that part. Because that's the part that shakes up the world. That's the part that shakes up a woman. That's the part that makes a woman actually turned on when she's around you. That's the part of you that makes a woman feel safe around you. It's that other part that you're actually blocking from her. Because you're blocking that in yourself, you're blocking that from her. She can't feel the full capacity of you as an authentic man because you are blocking that from yourself and you are just allowing yourself to just be in this place of I always want to be seen as a good person. As long as that's in place, I'm cool. And then I went, okay, you know what? Since I don't always want to be seen as a good person, am I willing to be seen as the bad person? Am I willing to be seen as the man who is sleazy? The man who is disrespectful? The man who is rude? Am I willing to be seen as that? And I started to dissect them more and I went, yep. I'm willing to be seen as this, but I know it's gonna be scary because I'm constantly up against my old facade, which is scary, the old egotistical front of I am a good person. I'm constantly up against that. And I was like, okay, I'm used to being seen as, as as a good person and now I'm willing to be seen as the bad person but what's really underneath both of these what's really underneath both of these and I started to notice I mean, this is now what I'm gonna tell you guys I said later in the video what I started to notice is this until I can sit in intensity 
this is when I'll be able to live out both sides fully. Because to be a man that's a good person is to just have good intention as you do things. And that's all it means. When you have good intention as you do things, it doesn't matter what you say. People can take it whatever way they want to and you need to allow them to take it the way they're going to take it. But as long as you have good intention behind it, you are a good man. That's the thing about it. And I went, even when I say to a woman, you look fucking sexy, that's coming from a place of good intention. That's not coming from the place of bad intention or I'm saying that because I wanna fuck her like right now in this moment only. I'm not saying that from a place of bad intention where I'm just saying that so she can see me as this fucking top dog d dude. No, I'm saying it from a place of total genuineness. Total being genuine with the woman. Totally being real, that I like you. I don't know who you are, but this is the way you affect me. And this is, I don't care if you feel this to be bad or right, I still wanna say this to you. Can you stay in the place of intensity that happens once you do express yourself? This is now the place where you need to start to go. Can I express myself and remain with the intensity that comes with it? That's the real question. Once you can say yes to that, once you can go out there and start to do that, what you'll start to notice is that no matter what you do, people will see you as good and bad, even when you have good intentions, but at least you can stay with the intensity of what you feel to be good. Because anything you do from a place of good intention is good. If I say to someone, man, I think you're overweight, I'm not saying that from a place of bad intention. I'm saying that from a place of total good intention. I'm not saying you can say to somebody, you can kill somebody and say that's from a good place of intention. Because some people twist that in, in war and they go, yeah, you can kill somebody because you're doing it for your country. A lot of times they're being led to do that. But I'm just saying, naturally, do you really feel genuine when you're around people? Do you really feel genuine when you're around women? Which means, can you send the intensity of the fact of, even when you express yourself in a way that will seem like a bad person, are you willing to sit with the intensity? This is what it is. This is what I came to. I was like, I can sit with the intensity when I'm in front of women and others. And that came to me through me going out there and continuously allowing myself to express myself genuinely. What do I mean by express myself genuinely? I mean, I had to start really being there with the woman. I had to start saying compliments to the woman that I really want to say. I had to risk the fact that the woman feeling like I'm weird, feeling like I'm strange, feeling like what kind of compliment is that, feeling like why would a guy say something to me like this? I had to risk that in the beginning. Because I was like, fuck, some of my compliments to a woman is simply, you are perfectly my size and pretty at the same time. That's that I had to roll with what was genuine to me. I had to start saying to women when I was in front of them that I don't know what to say. I just know that I want to say hello to you. That was, was that is was genuine to me and I had to get used to saying that when I'm in front of a woman. I had to get used to that and I also had to get used to asking the woman questions that I really want to ask her. I had to get used to expressing myself in the ways that I really want to express myself. When I would be in front of a woman, I had to get used to, so tell me, do you have a good imagination? And she's like, uh, yeah. And I go, what would it be, what would it be like, boom. I had to get used to that. I had to get used to, when I was in front of a woman, when, she, when I would just be talking to her, I would just go, And she's like, yeah. She's like, is something wrong? What makes you happy? And she's like, uh, that's strange. I go, yeah, it is strange, but I wanna know. Then she goes, I don't know. 
And I go, yeah, you do. Just give yourself some time. We don't have to be in a rush. I had to get used to genuinely expressing myself like this when I'm in front of a woman. Because when I can genuinely express myself like this, I can relax. This is what I noticed, guys. I noticed that when I was genuinely expressing myself, I was trying things out and I was like, fuck, I just have to just go with what I feel. And I was just genuinely expressing myself, authentically expressing myself. This is when relaxation started to come in. I was able to just be there in front of the girl and not be freaked out about what I'm gonna say next. Because I wasn't worried about how can I get this girl? I was just only interested in saying what I need to say. Genuinely saying the thing I wanna say. All the way up to, I had to get used to that on a one night stand with girls, that I give them a gourmet experience. That I do things like, like I, I remember particularly I was in the bathroom with a girl and I was in a nightclub. As I'm with this girl, within minutes we start kissing. And then I pull her into this bathroom in, in, in Budapest, this is a bar called Instant, and many of you have been to Budapest. I pull her into this bathroom and we lock the door and I just start fingering her. And as I'm fingering her, I start to notice that I really want to have this incredible experience with this woman. So, as I'm fingering her, I just start telling her like, would you like it like this? Or would you like it like this? And she's like, yeah, like that is just fine. And then I go, okay, do you want it faster or do you want it slower? You gotta realize we're in a high intensity situation. High intensity, I just brought her into the bathroom within minutes. And as we're in this high intensity situation, I'm fingering her, and as I'm doing this, and I'm play, actually I'm actually playing with a clitoris, then she goes, who are you? She just snaps out of it like, who are you? And I just look at her, and I keep her eyes, and I'm doing this, and then she goes, sorry, we can't do this because I pulled down my pants. And then at one point, you know, she didn't want to do it, but she can feel that this experience will be, will be very different. Fast track later, you know, we're in a bedroom, and I'm going down on her, and it's just like, she's like, oh, because cause she, was, she was like, trying to remember the experience. She's like, oh, I don't, I don't feel you licking me because she wanted me to lick her pussy. She's like, I don't feel you licking me. And I was like, if you say that again, then I'll stop. Stop saying that to me. I had to get used to that's the way I want to express myself genuinely. Can you see how like that seems like that's super, it's too direct or it seems like that's too much that seems like it's too much but that is what wants to be expressed through me there's so many times I've expressed myself like that so many times after that moment well I went I have to start doing this another story there was another girl that I was talking to here in Budapest as we went on a date she wouldn't let me hug her and then I tried to hug her again and she's like no then at the end of the date because she didn't let me hug her when I met her she didn't let me hug her at the beginning of the date or she didn't let me hug her any time through it. I just at the end of the day said, are you gonna be like this the second time we meet? She's like, yeah, I just have these rules. And I was just like, all right, well, I just have to say, this will be the last time that I see you because being physical is important to me. Can you guys see that? I had to start expressing myself genuinely. I had to start going, what does it mean to be true for me in relation to women and others? And women and others are the ones who I have the most trouble with doing this. The situations that I've went into after me really allowing myself to genuinely express myself changed my whole life. It did. Because remember, life is a balance between engagement, which means expression, and also moments of silence, moments of space, moments of meditation, so to speak or awareness is the base. And as my life unfolded, and it's the, as it's still now unfolding, and I'm expressing myself more and more and more genuine and much more authentically, what's happening just for me is this, this unfolding, this amazing unfolding of me just being able to live the life that I wanna live. That completely changed my whole way of, of living with women and you know, women started to view me in a different way. They started to see that my way of seducing is very different than anybody out there. You know why? I started to genuinely express myself very differently. I'm not a clone of anybody. If you look at the way I seduce, look at my channel, I am not a clone of anybody. And I'm not here to make you guys a clone of me. I'm here to make you, you. 
So the only way for you to be you though, is to genuinely express yourself. This is authentic expression. This is being willing to have a woman call you weird because you genuinely express something. Being willing to walk away because you genuinely feel that. Genuine expression. This is the way. Learn to sit in the intensity of what it means to be a bad person. What it means to be somebody who could be potentially called a bad person. And as you start to develop a different relationship to intensity in relation to being a good person or a bad person, this changes you as well as well as I've changed. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that what you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. That's, that's it, it's just realizing it. And I'll continue to make videos for you guys so you can realize it, so you can go out there and live the life that you want, so you can really get the women you want and really be happy in the way you want to. I got something special for you. Go to the description box and I want you guys to get the free Meet to Bedroom series where I talk about everything from the approach to the date to the bedroom. Go there and you can be able to get it totally free. It's totally free. It's about 30 minutes, which is free content exclusively for you guys, my subscribers. Until next video, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new and it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.